I'm not sure if you guys guessed it or not, but we picked up a Chevy parts truck. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you all tuning in as always. If you're new to the channel, what's up? How's it going? Hello. My name's Marcus. Hit that damn subscribe button. It's that damn simple. Join in on the damn fun. Um, so we're taking a break from Cummins content today, or diesel content, I should say. I say that. We're going to have some damn uh, sound clips in of towing with that damn beautiful second gen up there. That's the pride and joy. But <laughs> this video is about this jalopy, if you guys can believe that. Um, I've had this truck sitting on my trailer for, I guess, two or three days now. Um, picked it up about 30 minutes outside of where I live. Um, it, it's a strict parts truck, title only truck, no plate, uh, none of that shit. Runs, drives, AC, has everything, uh, but it is strictly a parts truck. Um, and we pretty much solely bought it for its damn transmission. If you guys saw in the in the glamour shots, if you will, um, it's got a five speed behind it. It's got an NV3500, not nothing special. Um, it's not known to hold up to any power, but we're gonna use it and we're gonna throw it in our little 2000 model short wheelbase Chevy with the 5.3 in it. This is a six cylinder truck. Um, it's been something I've wanted to do since I picked up the little blue truck. If you guys don't know what truck I'm talking about, I'll leave a link to the video, uh, kind of the intro video. Um, I filmed it. Uh, couple weeks couple weeks ago i guess kind of going over plans with the little blue truck um, now initial plans we was gonna keep it automatic go 4l80 uh, go single turbo but i want to kind of go in steps i don't want to jump straight into the big guns i kind of want to have fun with it kind of as a daily before it turns into a weekend warrior or full-fledged race truck kind of like the cummins build is snowballing into so what we're gonna do we're gonna take the five speed out of this thing, which we're gonna rework the entire thing, of course. Uh, get all new components, all new everything. By the way, it's not leaking none. Um, but we're gonna take the five speed out of it. We're gonna put it in the blue truck. Um, we're gonna send off the we're gonna send off the computer, get it reflashed and everything. But we're just gonna do a fat sack cam and five speed swap. That's all we're gonna do. I'm gonna cam the five three that's in it. Uh, do all the essential push rods, valve springs, all the goods, of course, um, and put that five speed behind it. Just have a fun, beating around town shop truck, still take off in it. Of course, we'll, we'll lose some miles per gallon, but we'll gain some smiles per gallon. Ain't that right? Uh, so I think before we do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and get this sucker unloaded. Um, I got to try to beat the rain. I'm going to try to make it home and wash this thing because there is oil all in the bed of the truck and it's rained since and it's leaked out all over my damn trailer i can't even lay on it without getting disgusting um, but i'm gonna wheel it off the trailer um get it pulled into the shop over there and we'll kind of touch base uh, a little bit more with what we're gonna do with this damn thing it's we're probably not just gonna take the transmission from it we may take a couple more things i don't know for sure yet uh <laughs> but let me get it unloaded by the way it's straight bike from hell. Exhaust leaks everywhere. Here, hang on, hang on. I know you guys saw it in the damn glamour shots. Where are we at? Looky there. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> That's some exhaust work. That's custom right there. Uh, but so anyway, I'm going to get this thing started up. We may take it around the block actually before we pull it in. Uh, but I got to do some shop rearranging and whatnot. Make room for this bad boy. <laughs> I don't want to see this thing for long. Oh, God good lord if anybody needs any parts in particular i'll get some better up close looks or a better up close look whenever we get it to the shop but if you need any parts hit me up my email's in the description below comment in the comment section figure me out find me somewhere i get you fixed up i swear <laughs>
<laughs> Got her back off the trailer, you guys. What do y'all think about that? I'm a real Kentucky boy now. The guy I got it from said, I think there's an exhaust leak. Yeah. I think you're right, buddy. <laughs> if y'all know me, y'all know I am not with this. Oh my God. I'm sitting in this damn thing like this, all scrunched up, trying not to touch nothing. And I'm short, so I have to drive like a fucking bitch <laughs> to get the clutch all the way engaged. Oh, and I had that big old, this big old damn thing all the way up here. I'm sure you guys could probably guess that. <laughs> if somebody wants that, let me know. There, let me give you guys, let me give you all a little sample. Yeah. What do you think about that? Let's go for a rip. Yeah, I figured I'd grab my damn phone holder so you can come along for the ride. I gotta go get gas in this thing. I really don't want to stop and get gas in this thing. <laughs> Put a damn disguise on or something. Y'all don't know me. Who's driving that crazy red truck? That boy over there. <laughs> I'll quit, guys. No, I am not stoned. I promise. Oh god.
y'all can check that one off my list. I never want to drive this dookie pile of shit anymore. That was just embarrassing. Couldn't even, I mean, you couldn't even get up to a grand. And this motherfucker's, bah, 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 bah. It's, anyway. Anywho, my man Chris, if you're, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I'm bashing you. But good God, man, this thing is ridiculous. All right, so just got pulled in to the shop. There we go. Man, that blue hood is sheening. Anybody need a blue cat eye hood? <laughs> uh, but I'm going to come in here. I got the gray truck still in the way, still in the same spot where we discovered our transmission fluid leak, obviously. Um, but I think I'm just going to, mm, I think I'm going to try to start it up real fast and get it moved. Just pulled in right here where all my other shit turds leak at. Y'all know the deal. Um, and I'm going to get my lift open because um, I don't think I'm going to need the lift for the gray truck uh, for a little while anyway. But if we're going to be doing transmission swapping, I need that damn lift for the other projects. Um, so real fast anyway, I'm just going to move this damn thing over here, get this some bitch pulled in here, uh, and we'll kind of talk about it a little bit, talk about future plans, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so evidently uh, the transmission fluid leak is substantially worse whenever you try to move it. So uh, if I want to get a truck in here, I'll pop it in neutral and roll it forward, which by the way, I've got a remedy for that transmission line uh, coming in the mail. It should be here in a couple days, give or take, who knows. Um, but I'm just going to leave that truck out there. We're not going to start pulling on the transmission today or even tomorrow. Um, and that truck fucking stinks. So I'm gonna leave it parked outside. I, I don't want my shop smelling like a damn truck if I don't have, if it doesn't have to. Um, but, so I guess I'm just gonna go out here and we're just gonna kind of walk around, go over some future plans, goof around a little bit, um, and, and we'll just call this an early one. <laughs> yep, that piece of shit's mine. So in all seriousness, this truck back here is going to benefit the channel greatly and it's going to benefit me greatly as well um, a lot of good parts are going to come off of this thing now just to start off of course this is going to be the start of a series of a 4l60e to an nv3500 swap something along those lines now there are several ways to go about it you don't have to buy the entire truck just right now there's several different reasons um first and foremost prices um all right <laughs> I got this truck for under a thousand bucks. Running, driving, unit, in a package. Now, an NV3500, you can get one that needs to be rebuilt from anywhere, you know, from three, four, five, six hundred bucks. But a good remanufactured NV3500, you're gonna spend a grand or better all day. Not only on top of that, you've got to source pedals, master cylinder, slave cylinder, clutch, flywheel. You've got to source just about everything. And then, you got to figure out how to do it on your platform already that's not automatic and not a manual. So not only is this kind of more or less a blueprint, but I've got everything there in a package. I've got the clutch pedals. If I wanted, you could use the slave, master cylinder, all that stuff. It's all there. I'm going to know where to drill to put my clutch pedal, all that shit. Um, of course, I won't be able to use the drive shaft. That's a long bed. I got a short bed. Won't be able to use the computer unless I wanted to send that one off and get it reflashed, but I'm gonna send my V8 uh, computer off, get it reflashed for the manual. So of course, you're not gonna be able to use your clutch and flywheel for your six cylinder application. Um, you're gonna have to do a little bit of Frankensteining. Um, now, of course, like I was saying earlier, I, had, I got the 5.3 V8 in mind. It was not offered uh, in any year model as a manual application, just the 4.3 six cylinder, um, and the small V8, the 4.8 V8, it was offered in a five speed as well with the NV3500. Now, if you go on up to like the uh, three quarter ton trucks and whatnot, and you've got the 6.0, go ahead. If it, you're looking for a manual, just go ahead and go to the NV4500. It's not too much weight for these half tons, but if you're doing the swap, just go ahead and do it. Made it up to your 6.0. Um, it'll hold up to a little bit more power, whatever. But anyway, I've got the 5.3. It's essentially the exact same thing as the 4.8. So we've got a 4.8 clutch, a 4.8 flywheel, 4.8 hardware, you know, flywheel bolts, pressure plate bolts, all ARP. Um, and we went ahead and ordered uh, a master cylinder specific to a 4.8 and a slave cylinder uh, specific to a 4.8. So it's a little bit of Frankenstein, but like I say, 
Whenever it's the LS application between 4.8, 5.3, 6.0, they're virtually identical. Um, now, I, I said the NV4500 deal with the 6.0, the NV3500 will absolutely work with that 6.0. But I figure if you're going that much power, go ahead and just upgrade. Um, that's an, another thing I kind of want to touch on is power. Um, you guys are going to be probably yelling, typing through the screen at me. The NV3500 isn't going to hold up to any power at all. What do y'all mean? It's got a 4.3 liter behind it. It can handle plenty of power. <laughs> I'll quit fucking around. I know, I know. I know, they don't have the best reputation. Um, but we are gonna, once we yank it, we're going to take it down to our local transmission shop, have them go through it, um, and we're just, we're going to take care of it. Don't, don't worry. We're going to take all the extra steps um, just to make sure we can get all the life out of it that we can. But kind of going back to what I was saying, sorry about the pin, guys. That's my pointer. Um, we're not going. We're not chasing a whole fuck, fuck ton of power. Excuse my language. That's why I kind of veered away from the single turbo build for now, and we're just going for a cam package. Um, now, you know, tech to speed, BTR, whatever, uh, do a full footage cam package and some other supporting mods. You can see a gain of about 100 horsepower or so on a good day. If you want to do heads and the whole shebang, you know, you can see 100, 150 horsepower gain. If you're lucky, 200 horsepower gain. Don't, don't bank on it. Um, but we're not going after crazy horsepower. I just want a fun street truck. I want to throw a donkey dick cam in this thing. Um, I'll, I want to do a top end up rebuild, if you will, uh, get the heads resurfaced. I'm not going to go after market heads yet. We'll wait till we wait a little bit. Um, but we'll do valve springs, push rods, lifters, injectors, throttle body, all the sporting mods, time and chain. Uh, we'll go ahead and do oil pump. Uh, while the transmission's out of the blue truck, we'll do rear main seal. We'll go through and just, we'll, we'll touch base on everything. And that's, like I was saying, why I want to do this build. I want a mean ass daily driver. Of course, like I was saying earlier, we're sacrificing some uh, some miles per gallon, but it's all the smiles around here, fellas. We ain't worried about that shit. Uh, I just want to run around, bang through some gears, throw some long tube headers on it, throw a Corsa exhaust system on it, and just drive it and have fun. Now, once we go full-fledged turbo, you guys know how it is. I don't, I don't drive this great Dookie turd right here because it's a full-fledged build. And I don't want to daily drive it and fucking break anything. And that just, it kind of bums me out more or less. Um, this thing top to bottom is basically brand fucking spanking new. Um, I don't want to go right off rip and go full single turbo build on my Silverado and paint the thing and front end swap. Front end swap the damn thing. Yeah, there's just so much to fucking do that I want to do, but I'm going to, I'm going to keep myself from doing it. We're going to throw a five speed in. We're going to try to locate a short throw shifter because I really want one, but I can't find one for the NV3500 for some reason. If you guys can find one, let me know. Core shifters is out of sight, out of mind. You can't get it on months out, blah, blah, blah. And uh, nobody has any use for sale. Um, I've done lost my train of thought. I, I'm just excited about this one. I'm blabbing, trying to give you guys all the beans. Let me, let me gain my bearings. I'll be right back with you guys. So in essence, in a nutshell, in one big package, phase one of the Silver Auto build, more or less will be a fat sack cam, a five speed, some supporting mods, a uh, Corsa exhaust system, piss off the neighbors, you guys know the deal, drive it, have fun for a while, and just kind of do some little stuff here and there, wheels, tires, we're gonna lower the thing, we're gonna do a five seven drop on it with some 22s, you guys know the deal, we, get, we gotta do it right. Um, just to have fun with it. Keep driving it. Keep using it as a shop truck, etc., etc. Now, phase two. Once we upgrade and we go full fledged and we single turbo, maybe even twin turbo a thing. Who knows in the future? Um, if I'm in love with the manual, we'll get a T56. Uh, we'll go right. We'll spend a little bit of money, get it to hold a little bit of power. Um, if we're not worried about the manual, we'll get a fully built 4L, 4L80E. Um, by then we may even upgrade engines, who knows? Um, but phase one, all we're worried about is keeping it simple. Throw a cam, throw a five speed, drive the tits off of the damn thing and just have fun doing it. That's initially what this, or that's exactly what this build is gonna be for, just to have an awesome shop truck to hop in, go, and not, not really care about it, if you will. I'm confused about what kind of person drove this truck. Uh. Uh, uh, I don't know. What kind of person is this? Oh my God. Okay guys, I was just getting ready to walk out of the shop, head on home, make the outro. Okay. 
gray truck wouldn't move while ago. You guys see anything as to why the gray truck wouldn't move? Davis County Rock. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. That is the drive shaft sitting <laughs> up there on the shelf. And I was trying to put it in gear and drive this some bitch. I'm a blonde. Oof, that's a big oof. I know you guys absolutely dig this rig. I didn't mean to rhyme at you. You guys don't mind the Woodsway Hot Chop. It's coming off, it's coming off. What do you guys think of this bad boy? If you guys wanna know about this truck, um, I've got a walk around video of it. I'll leave it, link in the description for this one as well. Every time, baby, every time. Let's do one little walk around before we hit the road. Ooh, I think my tripod's back here actually too. Good, good. Look how nasty. I don't know if you guys can tell it. Nah, uh, you can't tell. There's just a sheen of oil. My tripod's back here, that's not a bitch. There's just a sheen of oil all over top of that back ramp coming from that damn parts truck. Good to go, good to go. Head on home. <laughs> Let's doing home perm hey bud hey bud uh-huh that is effectively gonna end today's upload you guys you can see me and max we're out running doing the do's y'all know the deal he's holding down the floor hey bud Hey, bud, it's starting to rain. It is starting to rain pretty bad. Uh, Y'all don't judge me. We was craving some fast food, so we stopped and got some damn Sonic. Uh, but we're heading home. The blue truck you guys just saw, actually, is the one that the five-speed is going in. Uh, but anyway, so I hope you guys are stoked. Let me know what you think of the jalopy truck we picked up. If any of you guys want it, when I put the automatic in it, y'all come pick it up. It's yours. <laughs> uh, but uh, so I hope you're excited. Uh, it's going to be another fun venture. Uh, we're going to learn some shit, that's for damn sure. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Bud, say peace. Peace.